Hello everyone, uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, my name is Andra Nali, the Bazooka Prophet. Uh, much greetings all the way from Nigeria, uh, Edo State, Benin City. Uh, today we'll be watching a very interesting video in chemistry and also in biochemistry, talking about what we call Osazon formation. Osazon formation. And on that Osazon formation, we talk about the, 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 the reaction of, uh, of, of sugar with phenyl adrenaline to give us the product. And that in Osazon formation, take note, we're making use of monosaccharide, yeah? And that in the reaction of the sugar with phenyl adrenaline, Take note, three molecules of phenylhydrazine is utilized and it is in two steps. The first step is that the monosaccharide is being reacted, first of all, with phenylhydrazine to give us what we call, for example, from the key what we call D glucose. When D glucose is being reacted with phenylhydrazine, the first product that will be formed should be should be what now should be D-glucose phenyl adrazone. Take note, take note, which is adrazone, so that in the presence of excess phenyl adrazine on this D-glucose phenyl adrazone, three product will now be formed. One will be able to call a di adrazone which is called the osazone and thereafter aniline and ammonia is formed or is produced now look at it the reaction scheme and mechanism is as follows please take note this is how it is for D glucose The drawing of the structure is not difficult at all. This is what we call a D glucose. A D glucose. So that when a D glucose is first of all reacted with phenyl. Adrazine to be a remover of water. Thereafter, the product form should be in this format as N as NH then C six H five. Okay, every other thing in the structure should remain the same. So this is what we call the D glucose phenyl. Adrazon. Exactly. So that in the presence of SS, as two molecules now of phenyl adrazine, three, as two molecules of phenyl adrazine, then we'll be having what we call, this is what we should be having. And C6H5. So it means that in this, this is the first carbon, the second carbon here, another molecule here we add in. This is what you get. Every other thing remains the same. Plus aniline, 
then plus ammonia. So this product here is what we call the D glucosazone. The D glucosazone. That is how the skin is. So that apart from D glucose, because we make it what we call D ribose, any monosaccharide, precisely. When, for example, with D look like with D ribose, D ribose will react with phenylalanine to give up the call a D ribose phenylalanine. In the presence of an excess phenylalanine, it will not give you what you call what now. Also, a diazone too, which will be now become D ribose azone. That is how easy it is. For now, God bless you. Remember, I'm not safe. I'm running. Happy. New day.